minutes. You can even, if, if you're really wanting to get hold of us, you can also go to Twitter and get us. We're everywhere, man. We are. We're huge. One of FF101 on Twitter. Worldwide. I, yeah, we are worldwide. I do, I do want to... Prestige. I think we had... <laughs> great name. I, we had, uh, I think, 60 fans on Facebook when the season started, and we've literally doubled that now. So I, yep. we haven't, I haven't been aggressively, like pursuing you know what i mean i haven't been suggesting the page to anyone i people are just just catching on so that's good and, and on, on twitter we're we're at 465 followers so Party. i mean we're, we're doing okay we're not we're not ashton kutcher two million but who is i know <laughs> you <laughs> got he, even he listens you got to get a special camera to be ashton five two nine fourteen fifty is our phone number we're actually talking fantasy football uh, real hey. fast before we do, let's can we say uh, happy birthday to my older brother Chris? You he bet. was probably listening right now. How old uh, is he? Thirty-seven Ooh, today. Thirty-seven. Yeah, today. probably didn't like that. <laughs> Shout out. But hey. This is what it is. <laughs> happy birthday, Christopher. Here he is. To, <laughs> <laughs> to yell at me. Let's take a phone call. Five two nine fourteen fifty is the phone number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football One Hundred One. Go ahead. Uh, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I don't think you guys touched on this. Uh, what's the status of Mike Williams in Seattle? He's been a real nice pickup for me. And uh, I also have, I currently have Reggie Wayne and Bo and Jones Drew plugged in. Uh, what do you think about uh, maybe replacing them? I've got some decent options with uh, Jamal Charles, <clears throat> excuse me, and Percy Harvin. What do you think about that? Are you in a PPR league? No, sir. Okay. Um, I don't know that I would, boy, I don't know. Percy Harvin over Reggie Wayne is is the question, or uh, or Jamal Charles over MJD. And if... If MJD is truly not going to go, or if he's as hurt as it seems, boy, I wouldn't hesitate at all to plug in Jamal Charles. I, I really like Jamal Charles. So yeah. now, uh, there, now he asked about Mike Williams. Mike Williams is questionable with a foot injury, and he tried to practice some Thursday, but didn't get through the whole practice. So I, I really would uh, uh, watch out there and, and go in a different direction. All right, but would can you, you can you keep Reggie in there and play Percy instead of Mike Williams? Is that an option? Oh, that's two different leagues. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. With okay. Williams, I can I can put in uh, I can put in Johnny Knox. Um, I've been playing him; he's been decent. Yeah. I also have uh, Steve Breston in there, uh, and uh, uh, Dwayne Bow. But uh, oh, so I Bow's but yeah, he's been emerged as my number one guy, and I've been playing Mike Williams and Johnny Knox and getting by with Breston being kind of banged up. But you know, Breston's had a couple good games now. I yeah. can put him in, leave Knox in. Um, and go with those three, right? Yeah, because yeah, because uh, Preston's not even on the injury report, so he should. It looks like he's good to go. So yeah, I, that's how I do it too. Okay. And one last question: I, Branch is available in this league now, and looks like he and Brady are are, are are starting to click. Would you going the point forward? Would you consider picking up Branch and maybe dropping Knox? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd say I so. Would too. I don't think Knox is any. I don't think he's gonna, uh, you know, blow up any of these last few games. Whereas, boy, Deion Branch Br and Branch and Brady have a history from when Branch was there before. I like that a lot, and it looks like that the the chemistry has just gotten right back to where it was a few years ago. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a problem dropping uh, Knox at all for Branch. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate no problem. It. Good luck right, to thanks you. Thanks for the call. Five two nine fourteen fifty. Five two nine one four five zero is the phone number. Yeah, I think they mentioned something too on, on the on the broadcast uh, on Turkey Day about they need a deep threat because Randy Moss isn't there and and Deion Branch could be that guy in New England and obviously Tom Brady would like to throw the ball deep as much as possible. I mean, who would have thought Deion Branch? You know, the last time anyone even heard his name, he was in New England. You know, he leaves and completely becomes totally irrelevant. Uh, and and then you know, lo and behold, New England gets rid of Moss. Brings Branch it's, back, and now all of a sudden he's in he's in lineups again. He's an every week guy. It's the system. It's not it that Deion Branch has got that great. Yep. Uh, he, he's got good ability, but he's not that great a receiver. But Brady and and the system makes him more valuable in New England than he ever thought of being in Seattle. Yeah, and and also on the other, Randy Moss hasn't been a fantasy starter. You know, when he's either not on New England or anyway or in, or in his first campaign with Minnesota Horrible, other right. than that it, he's been worthless Tennessee no good his second stint with Minnesota talk about, another, talk about another high pick that was very disappointing this year. Very, well, good call 529-1450 529-1450 do have a few more minutes to take your calls but we need to get to our studs duds and sleepers for the week as well Mark let's start with you with the quarterback position this week quarterback Ben Roethlisberger I mentioned it earlier Buffalo secondary so so and they have no pass rush it'd be good for Ben 
Dud, David Girard. Girard's had a couple really nice weeks here lately, but it should come to an end against the Giant defense. I don't like him at all this week. Sleeper, Sam Bradford, St. Louis. Bradford's had success uh, uh, more than I ever thought he would, and Denver is, like Buffalo, not much of a pass rush. They give up the fourth most fantasy points to quarterbacks last four games. Wow. There you go. Uh, Eric, Eric, you got defense and tight ends, correct? I do have defense and tight ends. Um, let's start with the D. My stud defense for the week, and, and they are a low-ranked defense, but I just like the matchup. Uh, I like the Cleveland Browns Boom! at home against Absolutely. Carolina. Uh, Carolina just has struggled to get anything going offensively, even though Cleveland was that close to picking them up in a league. Were you? I didn't. I like them. I, like, I, I think... Uh, well, I think they're going to shut Carolina down this week, even though they're not necessarily on paper a good defense. But uh, my dud, and this sounds crazy, but Pittsburgh at Buffalo, I'm calling it a dud because, well, for one, I think Pittsburgh's going to win the game. But two, Buffalo's going to have to throw the ball to stay in the game, and they will throw the ball, and they will complete quite a few passes and ra- rack up some yards and possibly some points on Pittsburgh and probably what will be a losing effort. But still, um, I don't like Pittsburgh's D this week. And my sleeper, uh, I, have, I actually have a couple. Houston against Tennessee and then Oakland against Miami. Tennessee, of course, starting what Rusty Smith, rookie <laughs> quarterback. So that, that's why I went with Houston. They're not a good defense by any stretch Insert of the imagination. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, it, it, who can't stop Rusty Smith? You know what I mean? And so I like Houston if you're in a pinch and need a defense. Uh, they're, avi- they're, I'm sure, available. And Oakland against Miami. We talked about that a little bit ago. Um, I just I think that I think they're going to shut down that Miami passing game. Yeah, Oakland at home, and you don't know who's going to be the quarterback in exactly. Miami. Exactly, and they're out. Brandon Marshall. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's big. Uh, you want me to do tight ends? Or you go for go? it. All right, tight ends. Stud Jacob Tammy against San Diego. A San Diego number one pasty. They should effectively take the wide receivers out, but I like Tammy catch a lot of balls this week. Dud Zach Miller against Miami. Listen, this guy's riding on one good game this season. He's had one good game. That's it. You know, and, and the rest of the time, he, he's been either average or just awful. So, Zach Miller, find yourself a better player this week. And sleeper, Todd Heap against Tampa Bay. And Todd Heap's been okay this year. Yep, every time I put him on the bench. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every time. Well, I like him this week. Get him in your lineup. Oh, it's too late. I already played Witten, but he ah. actually had a good week for once. Yeah, you're okay. 529-1450 is our phone number. Mark, you still got the running backs, Running correct? backs, yes. Uh, the, the stud, Peyton Hillis. I know that's kind of the easy way out, but that's okay. play, playing Carolina. Carolina plays the pass pretty well. They don't play the run well. Look for Hillis to get you 17, 22 fantasy points. Uh, the dud, Brandon Jackson, Green Bay. Falcons have given up the fewest fantasy points a game to running backs over the last four. I'd go a different way. I know that disappoints uh, Eric. Sleeper, let's go with another Brandon. Brandon Jacobs of New York. Name the starter this week. I don't know if that's going to make a whole lot of difference in the amount of carries, but uh, I, I really like their chances, both Jacobs and Ahmad Bradshaw, to have nice weeks with that wide receiving core being as banged up as it is. And speaking of wide receivers, I have the wide receivers this week. My stud wide receiver, Brandon Lloyd. I like the matchup against the Rams, and he just puts up big numbers every week. Yeah. Um, my dub this week, Andre Johnson, uh, first of all, been a huge disappointment all season long. Secondly, playing that Tennessee defense and that secondary bangs wide receivers around, yeah. and, and that's not going to be a fun day for him, I just don't think. And so he's my dud. My sleeper this week, Mark, you're going to be happy to hear this, uh, but I think Vincent Jackson being back, and with all the injuries yeah. that San Diego has, I think Philip Rivers is loving the fact that he's going to be back. and. I think they're going to hook up a lot this week. So those are our studs, duds, and sleepers for the week. We bring them to you every week, but we are just about out of time. We appreciate you tuning in to Fantasy Football 101 here on Sports Radio 1450. Stay tuned. We'll get you plenty of that Chatham-Glenwood coverage yes. as they go for a, another state title, this time in Class 5A. They'll take on a pretty good team, Lombard-Montini. Uh, obviously, people in the Springfield area are familiar with them. They've played SHG a couple of different times, no doubt about that. So, Good luck to the Titans, congrats to the Rockets, and we'll talk to you next Saturday here on Sports Radio 1450. Illinois, recruit my-